today you will learn what metadata is. Subscribe now to not miss any more videos. Let's go! Essentially, metadata is data that provides information about other data. It summarizes basic information about data, making working with particular instances of data easier. Let's look at a specific example. Imagine you have a simple PDF document. Metadata about this document includes information like the author of the document, the file size, the date the document was created, and keywords to describe the document. Another example would be a music file. Metadata for a music file includes the artist's name, the album, and the year it was released. Let's focus on the different types of metadata. First, there's so-called descriptive metadata. By now you already know this type of metadata. It is relevant for identifying assets, such as a book or a song, as you have seen in a previous example. Furthermore, there are structural metadata. This type of metadata indicates how digital assets are organized, but it also enables the navigation and presentation of information in electronic resources. This could be by providing indexes, for instance. Next, there is administrative metadata. This kind of metadata relates to the technical source of digital assets. It includes information like the file type, as well as when an asset was created. Those kind of metadata are also important for usage rights, as well as intellectual property. Finally, there are so-called markup languages, which mix metadata and content. Flags are inserted in the content to denote important features. For a textual resource, for instance, structural elements like paragraphs are used. So words are flagged with semantic information. Such metadata could for example contain information about the formatting of different words in our document. Now you should have a pretty good idea of what metadata is about. Please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next week.